Vajiram and Reddy Institute and uh, today we'll be discussing very important topic from the civil service preparation point of view that is environment ecology and biodiversity i'm chirant and i'll be handling this subject and today i'll take you through a journey of how to prepare for this particular subject which will help you to score very high marks and finally get you selected in the civil service examinations ecology environment and biodiversity is a very important point uh, part of your preparation a important part of general studies and this is evident by the fact that a lot of questions which have come from this part in the previous years have drastically been increasing on an average from this subject every year there'll be around 17 to 18 questions which will be asked if you take the data of the recent prelims examination which uh, happened in 2021 the number of questions which was asked was around 20 this forms around one fifth of the entire paper out of 100 questions 20 questions were just from environment ecology and biodiversity if you look into the previous year questions uh, more or less the questions number of questions remains the same so in 2013 it was 17 in 2014 it increased to 28 28 questions from this part then it was 22 21 14 12 so in 2018 the number of questions decreased but then it got increased to 21 15 and this year it was 20 the fact that we take the data from 2013 is because prior to 2013 the prelims examination was only for civil service examinations and since 2013 the prelims examination was one of the criteria in order to write the Indian Forest Service mains examination so it was incorporated and that is why the number of questions basically from the science and the environment got increased so this number of questions from a particular subject makes this subject a very important one now i'll give you a broad breakup breakup of how the subject needs to be dealt how it has to be approached first and foremost it is very important that we split the subject into different parts this will help us to organize the entire subject together in order to remember the facts properly if you analyze the previous year questions from upsc the upsc questions demands two things one is the facts and second one is the conceptual understanding these are the two two major things which are required to answer a question correctly and these two things have to be dealt side by side whenever we are approaching any subject so the entire subject i have divided into ecology environment biodiversity and wildlife even though there are some topics which overlap between these uh, headings but more or less they have their unique sections which needs to be dealt separately so i will give you uh, overall information about how the subject individually needs to be dealt first of all i'll talk about the topics which needs to be covered in ecology in ecology the entire topic will be dealt in these five major headings so we have population ecology community ecology ecosystem ecology biomes and biosphere in this year prelims in 2021 prelims there were around nine questions just from these topics so if you say population ecology uh, this is 
the one which most of the books skips. So, if you are a book reader, make sure that uh, you cover up these topic in any one of the source, either internet or any other source. Population ecology deals with the age patterns, the curves, survival ship curve, the uh, density, density dependent factors, density independent factors which control the population. So, in the previous years, a lot of questions have reflected from this part. The next is community ecology. Here we will be studying the topics like interspecific interactions between the species, where you will be studying different concepts like uh, mutualism, amensalism, commensalism. Right, competition, predation, many other things, and a lot of questions have come from this part in the previous years. After this, we will be studying different concepts under community ecology, like the ecotones, the age effect, the population succession, okay, the uh, species succession, like primary, secondary, climax. So, there was a question from the succession part uh, in this prelims. And that will be the entirety of the community ecology. Then comes ecosystem ecology. Under ecosystem ecology, we will study various concepts like you know food chain, then you have food web, then ecological pyramids, to your surprise just from food chain, there were two questions which reflected in this year's prelims. So, then ecological pyramids, they have many questions which has been asked. So, that needs to be covered individually. So, we study pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass and pyramid of energy. Later on, we will study biomes. Biomes forms a very important part and from biomes, there will be different kinds of biomes which will be studied. So, we will be discussing the various climatic conditions in different types of biomes, the fauna, the flora which is been present. And uh, from this part, there were two questions from 2021 prelims. And finally, there is biosphere under ecology. So, here the main concentration should be on biogeochemical cycles. In biogeochemical cycles, there are water cycle, carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle and sulphur cycle. And just from these biogeochemical cycles, there were two questions, three questions from in, in the prelims 2021. So, this will be all, this is what you have to study as a part of ecology. And uh, once you are done with this, it's it is always good to complete this part and then move on to the next part. So, the next part which should be studied is biodiversity. It is a small part, but every year a lot of questions do come from this part. So, in biodiversity, the major topics which will be covered are the components, breakup, types, values and threats to biodiversity and lot of questions do come from the biodiversity hotspots under the biodiversity conservation part. So, biodiversity hotspots, we have four, Himalayan, Western Ghats in Sri Lanka, the indo Burma, and Sunda land. So, from these uh, areas, so the questions are asked regarding different species, invasive species and uh, the uh, endemic species which are present in this particular biodiversity hotspots. Then what are the global initiatives to conserve biodiversity and finally, it will end with Biodiversity Act 2002. After biodiversity, the next part which we will be studying is environment. Under environment, the major questions come from the problems related to environment. So, the problems may be deforestation or forest fires, ozone depletion. So, we will be studying different uh, uh, layers of ozone, different uh, rays which harm this ozone, the ozone depleting substance. In 2020, there was a question on the ozone depleting substance and its uses 
and then what are the conservation methods what are the different global initiatives to control the ozone depletion and all things will be studied and then comes acid rain so under acid rain different chemicals which are responsible for acid rain what are the impacts what are the measures which are taken to control this will be discussed then climate change which is a very important and uh, the hot spot nowadays so every now and then you will be seeing some news regarding to climate change in the recent uh, conference of parties so there is a concept of net zero that needs to be updated and before that you should study the basic science part of climate change which is global warming greenhouse effect and the uh, different impacts of this climate change on various uh, aspects you know, on agriculture on uh, the crop on the environment and other things and uh, you will be studying the uh, greenhouse gases their characteristics okay a lot of questions have come from this part in the previous years then you will be studying the global initiatives to control climate change including all the summits uh, united nations framework convention for climate change and others and the recent updates then comes pollution pollution even though uh, the students think that pollution is a very simple topic and every pollution like air pollution water pollution noise pollution solid waste pollution and uh, visual pollution then radioactive pollution all these pollutions so they cover very simply but the questions which are coming are much more deeper within this so within solid waste pollution in 2020 prelims paper there was a question on solid waste management rules so that is an updation and that current affairs need to be uh, dealt with then there is over exploitation of resources where we will be studying sustainable development agenda 21 and other topics and finally environmental legislation under environmental legislation there are many acts which are related to environment environment protection act Indian Forest Act 1927, Forest Conservation Act 1980, and Forest Rights Act 2006 all will be dealt and the uh, legislative part will be discussed. And finally, the last topic which has to be covered is wildlife. Under wildlife, we will be studying different wildlife conservation projects which are going on in India like we have project tiger, we have project uh, elephant, lion conservation reintroduction of cheetahs then we have the conservation of snow leopards we have dolphin gharial great indian bustard and uh, vultures so all the animals which are important should be dealt then the iucn lot of questions do come from this there is a different threat category from uh, international union for conservation of nature so we have critically endangered extinct threatened many categories and what are the animals which has been recently included in these categories that needs to be dealt then there are national and international organizations which deal in conservation of wildlife some of the national organizations like national tiger conservation authority wildlife crime control bureau and national board of wildlife and some international organization like wwf all these things should be dealt under this and finally the wildlife protection act 1972 uh, since last three years there were four questions which came from the just this act so this has to be dealt very nicely and with this you will be completing the entire syllabus covering environment ecology biodiversity and wildlife management so in this course what we are planning to do is to cover the entire topic in a comprehensive manner so dealing with each and every update and uh, the current affairs will be included within the lecture and then there will be previous year questions and most probable questions will be included as soon as you complete the topic so that the student gets a better understanding on how the questions are being asked and are we able to understand the concept and solve the questions then there will be a test which will be conducted after every topic so that the student gets to know the self evaluation part they will evaluate themselves and finally there will be doubt clearing session after the class so and there will be one to one interaction with the students 
So that is all about environment ecology and biodiversity. So thank you so much.